Hello and welcome to another riveting video brought to you by me, Jack, Vintage Electronics Geek here. But of course you know that because my name is on this page and in the video credits. In today's video, as you can tell by the video title, the title of this video is How to Illuminate My Pointer for the Day How to Illuminate Your Stereo Indicator if you do not have a stereo generator. Now it generally helps to have a stereo generator to make your pilot light illuminate. However, some of us may or may not have a stereo signal generator. I myself have a plethora. Uh, I like them. They're fun. They're test gear. I'm addicted to test gear. What can I say? In my quest of learning the magical powers and the science behind anything radio, how the magic works behind the dial, um, I got curious and I wondered how to make the, the uh, pilot light illuminate without a stereo generator. Now I did figure out the magic and what you're watching, what you're looking at here, I oh, forgot my official pointer what you're seeing here is just exactly that. I'm illuminating this without my stereo signal generator, the one that I currently have in line. Um, and as you can see, well, you see wires. I can't show you magic. I'm not doing anything magical outside of uh, this being a straightforward video. Uh, no magic here. So if you don't have one, I will show you how to illuminate that. However, this will take two pieces of specialized gear just the same. Some of you may already have this in your um, collection, some may not. Let me show you how it's done. First you're going to need a RF signal generator that's going to be able to produce the um, FM broadcast band frequency of your desire. Now most, not all, but most FM signal generators are stuck in a narrow bandwidth of frequencies. Well, what if you don't want to work at uh, center of the band 100? Because you have a pile up of stations there, because you live in a big metropolitan or you live near a big metropolitan, such as myself. I get bombarded and it's rather challenging, but do the best you can. Now, yes, I know you can make the light illuminate, well, not necessarily illuminate, but you could test the voltage with your voltometer and put it where the spec says it sh says you want it. But this video is if you're really anal like me and you really want to make that dumb light illuminate, that's what this video is going to teach you. So you need the RF signal generator. You need to put it on your frequency of desire. Today we are testing out 108.Z. Uh, that's at the far end of the spectrum. There should be nothing there in any market. So we should be fat and happy here for exampling. Uh, next thing you want to do is you need to set your um, frequency mode to wideband FM because that's uh, FM stereo works in that spectrum is wide FM. Now I have not tried this on an analog signal generator. I have put this on narrowband FM and um, regular FM as well as AM and in my test with my equipment it does not work it only works with wideband FM the next thing you need to do is you want to start off with a small signal on your RF output as you can see mine is really really tiny now if you have a a dummy FM antenna such as I made myself here you can put that in line, but remember that acts as an attenuator, so you will have to crank up the moose juice just a little bit more in order for this to work. Next thing you want to do is run your cable into the input jack of your stereo, and it looks like I lost my signal. You want to put your receiver on the frequency that you want, uh, that you matching up at your signal generator. Okay, so now that does not illuminate your your stereo light by that. You do get a carrier frequency 
which as you see right here. Next thing you need to do, your, your next piece of test gear, now this probably can be an analog because um, here we have RF frequency to um, get into the, uh, the receiver. Next thing you need to do is to grab yourself a audio frequency generator. In this case I'm using my BNK Precision uh, multi-function generator. One of the things it does do is audio frequency. You want to put this in sine wave, not square wave. Once you get that uh, set up, turned on, put in place, you want to set the frequency to 19,000 kilohertz. That's the frequency that makes the pilot light illuminate. And then you want to mess around with the signal input in my environment, my testing right here. I require a 60 millivolt signal at a minimum to make it illuminate. You want to be careful about putting uh, a lot of energy out because uh, you can run into distortion on your tuner and I'll explain that and show that in a moment. Next you want to take that cable from your audio frequency generator and you need to plug it into your uh, RF generator's modulation input and make sure you put the uh, the settings for internal, I'm sorry, for external uh, audio. And then there you go. So let me go ahead and unplug the uh, audio and uh, plug it back in. And that, my friend, is how you get your light to illuminate. Now, depending on how uh, this unit here is a quartz, uh, quartz locked uh, receiver, so I can go a little bit off frequency of 19,000, but not by much. This should work just fine with your analog gear as well, your stereo. This should help you get everything centered in and peaked. And, and then you could also go back to your voltage setting and uh, make sure you've got that uh, peaked uh, or adjusted accordingly to the service manual. So this is kind of cool. So yes, uh, don't need a stereo uh, signal generator to to get that to work but you do require two other pieces of uh, test gear to get it work so this may not uh, help everybody out but uh, for those that do well there you go now you're probably wondering your, to yourself Jack that is a mighty cool parlor trick but let's say bro that I want to uh, pipe audio through does it pipe audio? How, how do I do that? Let me uh, put the remote control right in the way. Apologize for that. Turning up my my amplifier. All right. So with that said, that's how you get that to illuminate. And if you turn it up, all you get is just dead air, silence. So in order to get audio to come through your your system. All you have to do, coming out of your audio function generator, you put a T connector in line, and with that T connector, you uh, run the one end back into your generator. The other end will come from your audio input device. You plug that in, and Shazamo you've got audio. Now with that said, again you need to mind your input voltage from your audio source because you can oversaturate the uh, the input of all this. You do not want to connect RF out from your generator to RF out of your audio generator. Uh, Cross-contamination, they can burst into flames and just have a bad day in general. And by adjusting the modulation level, audio output level, gain, whatever you want to call it. You can increase the input and become your own radio station. Howdy, howdy, hi, friends and neighbors. This is Jack on WJAK. Jack. 
Oh yeah, nice smooth sound. Okay, well that's fun and cool. So you're probably asking yourself, Jack, that is awesome. What else do you know about this? Well, let me, let me uh, show you. So as you can see, we're definitely riding the waves of our uh, 19 kilohertz signal. Now if we go over here to our mode switch and we turn this into mono, you still have a signal. Now what happens if we turn it off of that 1900 kilohertz? Let's go ahead and turn the uh, stereo light back on. Turn this back up in case you can't hear it. All right, so if we want to confirm that this really is riding in on the pilot light frequency, We'll go back up to our audio frequency generator and let's go ahead and turn this off of 19 kilohertz. This should go to one hertz. And as you see, mono. And I can push the switch no matter how many times I want and our stereo indicator is not coming on, which you could see right there in the corner of your, your display right here. that I'm toggling it on and off. So let me go back up to the AF generator and we'll put that back on 19 kilohertz. I'm sorry, 19,000 kilohertz. And there you go. Now you're probably wondering, well, does that broadcast in stereo? No, no, this is, this is still a mono signal. Uh, we don't have the necessary uh, equipment to transmit in uh, multiplex mode. But this at least allows you to see, to get your stereo indicator to illuminate. That's really all this video was about. It was not necessary about the music, but this is a, a way to show you how to play with uh, your equipment a little bit more, a little bit different. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I do appreciate you coming along and, uh, and watching. If you learned something, fantastic. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I would appreciate that. And also, give me a big thumbs up. That really helps. That really lets me know I'm, I'm uh, doing something positive for the community. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Seven threes. This is uh, WJAK Jack signing off. Seven threes. I don't know why I went from broadcast band to amateur radio. Oh well.